There's some strong arguments for both options, but it's all up to this team and the owners in the end. One thing everyone is keen on is lowering energy bills. Roshan and Jess are visiting this home in Gaimea Bay in southern Sydney that is making full use of the environment and saving the homeowner money. Thank you so much for inviting us to your home. You're welcome. Um, Rosh, have we got some secret powers in we here? We have got some amazing secrets in this home and they're going to certainly beat Norm. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> let's get in there and prove them wrong. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Lisa, girlfriend, sister, you look like you've got some secrets in here that's going to help me get renovated over the line. Now, this house, Rosh, is basically Norm, born in the 1920s and needs to degas desperately so that it's going to be better for the environment so more people can enjoy it. Have you degassed lately? Uh, we're planning to. So, yeah. Yeah, we've just had a solar system installed and, um, yeah, we're looking at um, getting rid of gas because um, it's not so good for the environment and, yeah, going all solar. And it costs you a fortune anyway. It's pretty much a colonic irrigation for, it the, is for the house, isn't it? Just yeah. get rid of all of it. For sure. So how big was your electricity bill before you went solar power? Can you remember? Yeah, it was about $1,400 a quarter. Oh my God. I just love to hear how much you're saving now. How much now? Well, our last quarterly bill was $13. Wow. Oh my God. I'm pretty impressed by that. Do they still let you go to payment plan for 13 bucks? <laughs> and what have you got to make that happen? So we've got an 18 uh, kilowatt sun power system and a 10 kilowatt battery. How do you know what one's good? Because they all tell you that they're good. How do you know? We were recommended sun power um, and they've been around for over 38 years. So yeah, we decided to go with them and um, the systems, um, you know, got the sun power panels and the sun power inverter. So it's one company as well. So if there was a fault, not that I'm anticipating a fault, but it'd be one person to contact and um, yeah, their warranties are quite good as well. I'll test you here. Do you know how long their warranty is? 40 years, apparently. They are. It's yeah. amazing. 40 years. Yeah, it's incredible. But there's a really cool what app. What is it? There's apps. There is. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, like. I told you there's lots of secrets in this home, Jess. I know. What do yeah. you mean there's apps? Like, so what is, like, a, like a smartphone yeah, thing? Yeah, so I've got a, an app on my phone and it shows me how much power's um, being generated into the battery and I can watch it at night time when people are being, you know, using the power and I can oh, see. Oh, I'd get addicted to yeah. that. So you moved into this house or you built this house and then you converted it to solar, right? That's right. Is there anything that's complicated about converting an existing house to solar? No, you can you can do it either way. Um, we did it after we built, so um, yeah, it was quite easy. You can also do it before um, while you're building, get the wiring done that way, but yeah, we did it the other way around. Okay. No complications? None at all. No hurdles? Nothing that Norm could say Nothing. that's in the way of me putting you know, a solar system in the existing house back there? No, easy done. We did it. Don't worry, Jess, I've got my friend Kyle to explain it all to you. Oh, mate, you have a friend that explains <laughs> everything to everybody. This is uh, SunPower Reserve. So this is a new battery all-in-one offering from SunPower. This is a 10 kilowatt hour battery, which is sufficient for most households. Depends on the house, what you're planning to do. But generally you want to focus on doing as much as you can during the day. And then the battery is going to help during the night with your general lights, TVs, internet, fridges, and whatnot. So Cole, Jess is looking to renovate a property. Do you face any more challenges installing a renovated property compared to a brand new rebuild? 80% of the properties we do are existing properties, so retrofitting is our bread and butter. There's no issues at all. The main thing is when you're designing the property or redesigning the property, you want to make sure that the system's going to meet your needs. So are you going to add split systems or you know floor heating? You're going to have an electric vehicle, you're going to have a pool or a spa, all these things take into account. You don't want to have a small system for a massive house or vice versa. Yeah. 